Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for joining us for our second half hour. Now, developing now a deadly shooting investigation in Tennessee. New body cam video showed the moment officers shot and killed Melissa Horton, a 43-year-old mother just released. This happened back in March. Officers say they were trying to pull her over after she allegedly pointed a shotgun at her fiance, then left the house. She had already driven off after the officers waved her down. Once they caught up with her and boxed her in, they shot her nearly 20 times, and they will not be charged, according to the district attorney there in Shelby County. Former law enforcement officer Greg Dupree joins us with more reaction to this investigation. Greg, when you take a look at this case where 43-year-old uh, Melissa Horton uh, shot and killed by deputies in uh, Shelby County, Tennessee, your thoughts on it? Well, it's, it's a tragic event, obviously, Isaiah. Uh, it's, it, it's very hard to look at this and try to actually find fault with the officers in the sense that they were called by this woman's fiance, I believe. Yes. Uh, after she had pointed a shotgun at him. So that information going out over the airways is all is obviously going to put the officers on a heightened sense of alert, knowing that this woman is armed or possibly armed. And, you know, she led him on a brief chase. And then she wasn't complying with their commands. And when they stopped her and she picked up the shotgun and it had a tragic ending. You know, I, I know it's unfortunate and the fiance is unhappy, but hey, you called the police in the first place and you gave them the information about her having a shotgun. So you, you know, I, you know, pointing a shotgun at him. So that means she did have a potential to point a weapon at someone. And evidently she was trying to do it again with the police officers. Now the video that I've seen, it wasn't clear enough to me to see uh, into the vehicle to see, I didn't have that, uh, that perspective, but I'm not going to Monday, you know, Monday morning quarterback these guys and say, what they saw was different from what I saw. They were there on the scene and they reacted accordingly. Mm -hmm. And generally in situations like this, whether you fire one bullet or 20, it, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's you want to stop the threat and they fired the number of rounds that they believe were necessary to stop the threat. Now, when we see or hear, we see them firing the rounds into the car pretty close. Mm -hmm. And then we hear that it was 20 shots. Do you think that's excessive? Well, like I said, it's uh, it was a heightened situation, and it's not like when an officer gets involved in the shooting that they're actually counting their shots. You know, they're trying to stop the threat. Mm -hmm. So they fire as many shots as they feel necessary at the time to stop the threat. But as I said, whether they shot fired one shot or 20, to stop her from doing what she was doing, it, 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 it really doesn't matter. And evidently, the DA agreed with that. And the, the DA's decision was not to prosecute. Was not to prosecute, deputies, right? Exactly, exactly. Right. And, and an important point you brought up, especially this is how domestic violence situations can lead you down the rabbit hole, and it ends tragic. It ends in death. Right. It's understanding that they both had an argument at their home, and then she pointed the gun at him at their home, and then she took off, and then right. he called the cops. Right. And many people warn these domestic violence situations can be very, very bad and end with deadly results like we see here. And the point you made, he called the cops. He's upset now. Exactly. He said he called the cops. He told the deputies the kind of that she had a gun and they prepared in kind. It also serves to highlight a point, Isaiah, that sometimes males are the victim of domestic violence as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, they said they had no history, uh, from what I've read, they had no history of any type of domestic violence reports at that home, but that doesn't mean it hasn't been going on for a period of time and just went unreported. Unfortunately, it escalated to the point where it resulted, uh, resulted in this woman's death, but it's, as I said, it's a tragic event for everybody going all you know, looking at it all the way around. But as I, this woman's history, she had to have some type of history, well, a history of alcoholism. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was a history of domestic violence that had been going on for a period of time. Mm -hmm.
Some of the people in who've been commenting and following this story, they're saying that they would have seen more outrage. Uh, the officers may have likely been charged if this woman was a black woman. There'd be a uh, outcry of, of racism and social injustice. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I can't agree. I, I don't even entertain that type of uh, uh, negative commentary. Uh, when I watched the video on uh, YouTube, I read the comments. I read over 50 comments, and every single one of those comments supported the officer's actions. And strangely enough, that, well, it's not, I'm not going to say strangely enough, that was, and from what I could tell, the majority of the people making the comments were white. Mm -hmm. So I can't see how that if we reverse this situation, well, you're going to always have those detractors. If we had reversed the situation, this was a black woman shot by white officers, you, you would have some type of outcry. But that doesn't necessarily mean that outcry would be justified. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we walk away from this learning that domestic violence situations can end deadly. Very exactly, deadly. exactly. And as I said before, it's just, on, well, especially when it's coupled with alcohol and weapons. And the, you see the result of that right here in this video. All right. So what happens to the deputies now since the district attorney did not file charges against them? Do they go back to work? What? Well, obviously, when you get involved in the shooting, there's a time, an administrative time where you're off from duty, and the department conducts its own investigation to make sure that the officers adhere to all the departmental policies. With the DA deciding not to charge these people, it, 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 the decision has already been made that they adhere to the law. Uh, but now they go through the investigation, if they haven't already, uh, internal investigation to see if they adhere to all the policies within the department. And once that's over with and complete, if they're exonerated departmentally, they go back, back out on the street. And I just want to make it clear to the viewers, all of this happened back in March, but they just released the video, mm -hmm. uh, the body camera footage. And so that's why there's renewed interest and uh, uh, the family members asking for justice in this case. But we will see what happens.